Hello, in this session we will talk about creating access key at Amazon Web Services. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. Few sessions back we did talk about public key cryptography that Amazon Web Services use to help you connect to the virtual machines. So what we discussed was Amazon keeps the public key to itself and gives you the private key and public key is used to encrypt the login information and private key is used to decrypt the information and only you have access to the private key and that is how you make connections to the virtual machines which are Linux based or Windows based and we did create one virtual machine for SAP HANA 1 database which is Linux based okay and we can connect to the virtual machines without passwords using these private keys which are downloaded in PAM files with PEM extensions. However, the private key, public key security is not the only security that is there at AWS. You need to have a username and password to use services at Amazon. And the username is called access key and the password is called secret key. Keep in mind that these are services that Amazon is offering. In fact, it is an infrastructure as a service platform. So it's not only you who is making connection. A program can make connection too using an API application programming interface. So keep in mind that access key is something that identifies you as a partner and this is used in the API calls as well both the username and password and secret key is something only you are aware of nobody else knows your secret key and if it's ever compromised you should create a new access key secret key prayer and that's what we're gonna see in this session how to do that so the bottom line is that you do need access key and secret key to utilize services and we need to create one pair in order to proceed further. We created SAP HANA 1 instance in the previous session so you might be asking should we be just firing up the instance and uh, start using it rather than creating this access key secret key to use Amazon services why do we need to do that? Okay so you need to connect to your instance yes and you need to have the access key secret key for that purpose so that is exactly what our direction is and uh, we need to do this step first open up your browser and navigate to aws.amazon.com from my account console menu choose AWS management console on the sign in screen enter your email address and the password and click on sign in using secure server button you will see this page listing all the services provided by the Amazon Web Service website. Click on your name and you will see a pop-up menu. Click on security credentials. A page will open up on a new tab. Enter your email address and the password and click on the sign in button. Next you will see this page listing few options. You need to click on access credentials, your access keys option. By clicking on it, you will be simply scrolled down to the right section. It's not a new page that will open up. Here you need to click on create a new access key option. You will see this message. Are you sure you would like to create a new access key? Click on yes. You can note down this access key. This is like your username and you need a password as well to use Amazon services and that will appear once you click on show link under secret access key so once you click on show link you will be given the secret access key note it down note down your access key keep in mind access key could be public but secret access key cannot be only you should know what your secret key is this is like your password secret key, access key is your password and access key is your username to use Amazon services close this window if you ever think your key is not secured anymore you can make it inactive by clicking on this button and you can create a new one by clicking on this link here create a new access key